John here. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the 10 streams of income that I had in 2021. This is the first year where I've earned a significant amount of money from self-employment. After I finished university at age 21 and then took the path of trying to make money from business and investing. I'm 24 now, by the way, and I've been out of university for two and a half years. I'm making this video because I like when other people are completely transparent and honest about how much money they make and from doing what. I think that it's helpful and it can also be motivating. I'm absolutely not making this video to flex and hopefully it won't come off in that way because I actually made less money than the average person working in the UK, which is where I live. But the money that I did make, I made from business and not from being an employee, doing work that I enjoy and on my own schedule, which I think is pretty cool. Let's start with the smallest income source and then work our way up to the biggest. But first, a few caveats. So I'm only going to be talking about money that I've personally received as income. Also, I'm going to be talking in US dollars because that's a currency that more people understand compared with the great British pound, even though I am based in the UK and some of these income amounts I actually received as pounds. So the first income stream in 2021 was dividends from my stock portfolio. I currently only invest in growth stocks, which represent companies that reinvest their profits into growing and expanding as fast as possible. They don't pay out much, if any, of their profits to shareholders. But I prefer to invest in companies whose stock prices have the potential to increase significantly from where they are now. So that's why my portfolio only has growth stocks and is why it only paid out $18 in dividends in 2021. The second income stream was flipping items. I just did a one-off flip of a piece PS5 back when they were in short supply and high demand. I made a $68 profit from doing that flip. I don't normally like doing one-off business dealings like this or taking advantage of trends because it's not sustainable long term, but in this case it was just such low hanging fruit. That brings the total income for 2021 up to $86. Next we've got affiliate income. With the YouTube channel starting to get some traction towards the end of 2021, the affiliate links that I have in my video descriptions started getting more clicks and more conversions. I didn't get any affiliate link conversions until until November and December of last year. So this number is really just two months worth of affiliate income. And the amount that I made was $174. This was actually all from people in the UK signing up to Free Trade, the stock investing platform that I use for all of my own stock investing. People got a free share from signing up using the link down in the description and that brought the income total up to $260. The fourth income stream of 2021 was credit card rewards points. I just bought things that I would have bought anyway, except I used rewards credit cards to buy them, both for personal and business expenses. The credit cards give me rewards points that I can convert to cash, sometimes Amazon vouchers, sometimes free airline flights. The credit card companies offer these points as an incentive to try to get you to use the cards more, with an expectation that a certain percentage of people won't make the repayments on the cards and will end up paying interest and penalty fees. But I have my credit cards set up so that they pay off in full automatically each month and I don't have to do anything, don't have to worry about it, and I never pay any interest or fees. I currently have eight credit cards with various benefits and I've been building those up over the last six years. And from from those cards, I got a total of $251 worth of rewards points in 2021, and that brings the income total up to $511. Just as easily as I got those credit card rewards points, I also got cash back when I was buying things online from using a cashback website. All I do is I go to a cashback website like this, search for the online store that I'm wanting to buy something from, and when I do click through to the store using the link on the cashback website and then I buy something, the store pays the cashback website a commission, and the cashback website then splits that money with me. I got $200. $80 from doing this in 2021. Not bad at all for a few extra clicks here and there. And that brings the total income up to $791. The sixth income stream was buying and selling cryptocurrency for a profit. I bought $739 worth of Bitcoin throughout October, November and December of 2020, just before there was a big increase in the price of Bitcoin. Admittedly, I did get a bit lucky with the timing of this investment, but I did understand how Bitcoin works because I studied it in my computer science degree. And I was also aware that a lot of money was about to be pumped into Bitcoin by institutional investors. So I wasn't going in completely clueless. In the months following my investment, the price of Bitcoin skyrocketed and it peaked in April 2021. I did feel that the price of Bitcoin had increased too rapidly. So in April 21, I sold all of my Bitcoin and I locked in a profit of $536. That was a 73% return on investment in about six months. Pretty insane. In May 2021, the month right after I sold it all, the price of Bitcoin tanked. It literally halved. In theory, you shouldn't try to time the market, but in this case my intuition was just too strong and I went with my gut and it worked out. That crypto gain brings the 2021 income total up to $1,327. For a good while I didn't invest back into crypto after that 50% price crash because I felt the prices were still too high, but recently I've changed my mind. I'm now expecting a lot more money to be put into Bitcoin over the next 5-10 to 10 years, especially from people's pensions around the world, so I've started to buy and hold Bitcoin again, and Ethereum for other reasons, and I'm not planning on selling any of it for at least 
least five to 10 years, regardless of market price fluctuations. The seventh income stream was money for fuel and car wear and tear, where I used my car for business use. I used to own a short-term rentals, Airbnb arbitrage type business that I started and ran for two years until I sold it mid last year. We'll get to that later. I used my car to operate that business, driving between properties and such, and the business reimbursed me for that vehicle use. So the money that I personally got from that throughout 2021 was $748. And that brings the income total up to $2,075. The eighth income stream was YouTube ad revenue from this channel. We managed to get the channel monetized at the start of December 2021, so this is just one month worth of ad revenue. I made $1,690 from ad revenue in December, with a channel with less than 5,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. That brings the 2021 income total up to $3,765. Ad revenue from this channel is the income stream that I'm most proud of because it's come from a lot of hard work, but that work has also brought me a lot of enjoyment and fulfillment. You might be surprised to hear that the ninth income stream in 2021 was actually money from the UK government, which was basically financial support for unemployed people and for struggling self-employed people. I qualified for that for just a few months at the start of 2021 when I was trying to make money from being self-employed, but I wasn't making very much money from doing so yet. And I thought, if it's available and I qualify for it, I may as well take advantage of it. My thoughts on government aid and grants and any money that the government wants to offer you is take it so long as you're genuinely eligible for it. I got $2,816 from that, which brings the 2021 income total up to $6,581. The 10th income stream in 2021 was from selling my short-term rentals business, which I mentioned briefly already. I sold the business because it wasn't making enough profit to justify me taking a salary while I was running it, and also because I wanted to spend my time on YouTube and on a tech startup which have more potential for scale. I wasn't able to get more suitable properties as fast as I would have liked to scale up the short-term rentals business, and I eventually made the decision to find a buyer who wanted to sink their time into trying to make the business work for them. I gave them all of the facts about the business, laid everything out, full transparency, and they were happy to buy it. I owned the business with a second person, so my share of the business sale money was $25,803. And I got that amount of money from the value that the buyer placed on the business based on the brand that I built up, the property contracts that I had in place, and so on. That business sale money brought my 2021 income to a grand total of $32,000. $384. I spent a small amount of that on living costs, invested some of it in stocks, but the majority of the money went to repaying a loan that I'd taken out from my parents to help me start the short-term rentals business in the first place live and learn. Now I'm going to tell you how much my stock portfolio grew in 2021. I started the year with a stock portfolio value of $2,235. I invested $5,784 throughout the year into index funds and individual stocks, and I ended the year with a portfolio value of $11,449. That's a $3,430 gain, or a 43% return on investment for the year. It has been a very good year for stock growth, so I can't take all of the credit for that gain. The S&P 500 index, increased by 27% in 2021, which means that if you invested in US stocks blindly, if you had a monkey pick out your stocks for you, you probably got close to a 27% gain. But I managed to beat that 27% market average return by getting a 43% return across my portfolio, which I'm pretty happy with. I hope that you found this video useful in some way. This is Debt to Millionaire. Subscribe.